So here we are actually in the back of our two buildings here. This is our warehouse suite that has the mill in it. And this is our retail suite that has the door, which we uh, need to enter and access with all of our product. The interesting thing is we had this area marked off to learn, it's called locating. Uh, it's marked off on the ground to learn where all of the various pipes might be underground. It's a very beaten up piece of parking lot here with a lot of potholes and those kinds of uh, obstacles. And we're regularly moving uh, like 600 pounds on a cart, you know, over these obstacles. Uh, it's, um, it's a big issue for us. It's been a big issue since we've been here and we've been wondering what the best way of getting it done would be. I learned that the rest of the site is getting uh, repaved, the asphalt is getting redone. And so I thought, wow, this is great. This area is going to obviously be a part of it, uh, was my assumption. And again, I sort of have to learn that assumptions are not great for any of us. You know, when we assume that we know or we draw a conclusion, we don't, you know, complete the circle uh, of confirmation with other people, sometimes there can be misunderstanding. And uh, the landlord chose to omit this section of the work. So I'm trying to still work out some sort of negotiation with them uh, because they're doing the work right now. So getting it all done instead of getting it 98% done would be really beneficial. And for us, this is a major safety risk. I, I just worry about the day that one of our employees falls and you know a 600 pound card of goods falls on them um, we could be held liable for that kind of a thing and so uh, one way or the other we've got to see this through I, I think the landlord should fix the parking lot that was already broken before we got here but we are a part of a pretty large complex here which is owned by a property management company or managed by a remote property management company so uh, and that changed hands a few months ago I haven't actually met uh, anyone relevant to the property since being here so sometimes it's a little bit harder to get things done um, I'm very thankful that they're doing this uh, this asphalt which all definitely needs the work I just wish that we could have also gotten this uh, section included. Uh, and hopefully in these last minute pivots and negotiations, I can still manage to save the day here and get something done, even if it means we assume a bill. It could be an unnecessary set of conflict, you know, with, I mean, things are the way they are. I'm not gonna change the nature that I'm dealing with a property management firm that's really probably tied to the financial performance of this complex above all else and makes decisions in a cold financial sense. And so if they've determined that this isn't in their best interests, I don't have the bandwidth financially to, you know, really argue. Um, I can plead my case and hope for their grace in getting this done. And I guess that's where I'll start. but. Um, the next step would be just getting it done. Um, I, it's hard to waste any more time. We've already lived with it for about a year and we had planned on pouring concrete back here and doing the modification ourselves. And so I guess that's from the landlord's position that that's going to end up being the thing that they're presented with. Do they do they want us to do this even though we have less of an interest in the property itself? We have an interest in getting from point A to point B. So, you know, we're not gonna repave back there beyond what we need. We're going to pave ourselves a pathway, which I think is, you know, kind of an unfortunate compromise if that's what it comes down to. But we'll, we'll see how it pans out. That's the kind of thing that's happening behind the scenes and especially when you think about multiple facilities and many people to interact with, these 
things are painful. It's not the only thing that the property management firm is dealing with, I'm sure, at the present moment. And it probably seems very trivial from their perspective. It's just some back alley behind one of their properties. And there's exactly one guy who's complaining about it amongst hundreds of tenants, I'm, I'm certain of it. And so I'm just one little trivial thorn in their side at the moment. Uh, but for us, this is not trivial. I mean, I see OSHA back here, you know, uh, giving me a hard time. I see uh, other regulators, the health department back here, giving me a hard time. And so part of my responsibility nowadays to proof is going through item by item and refining. Uh, and that work is not glamorous and it takes time. I, I'd much rather be experimenting and making new products and doughs. And I imagine eventually we will find enough stability in our environment in order to rebalance that, uh, that timeline um, of what I can spend in there. Uh, and it'll be easier for everybody on our team to manage these issues once they reach a certain point of stability in the first place. But it's, this is a hard one. It ends up coming up to me because, well, it, it's not clear that uh, my manager is going to be able to negotiate with the property management firm and he has a different set of interests. This is really an interest for Amanda and I to create a safe environment for our workers. And unfortunately for us, it seems like we are amongst the only people that care about this back alley at the moment. Uh, so it's just one of the many things that's distracting from our day-to-day -day work. And I think it's worth noting once in a while how much of this stuff there is. The, the larger an organization becomes, the safer it becomes to operate. I'm not as worried about getting knocked out from week to week with a few issues, uh, but I am more consumed by day-to-day -day problems that no one else is gonna solve for me. I either intervene and solve them or, or I don't. And, and as a result, I have to teach the things I can teach to teammates. So if there's something I know how to do well, like you know, make bread, uh, I've gotta teach it to somebody else. It's a weird, irony, I suppose, in all of it that, you know, the better things become for you, the more disconnected you are from the thing that brought you to this place to begin with. And for what it's worth, I hope to really do that rebalancing uh, over time and find the right amount of time working on the products, working directly with the team, and then working on the business and all the business related uh, matters. But one thing that Amanda and I have been considering lately in all of that is that our hiring strategy might have to change in order to accommodate that. We have historically always hired people without really so much care about the experience that they had coming in the door. And in many ways it has been better that way for a production staff member, for somebody that learns how to bake. We have a pretty clean slate and uh, can teach them a sourdough method of baking without having to overcome different rhythms and habits that were formed from other baking experience. Uh, plus there's just not that many bakers uh, that are experienced applying in the first place. So we've predominantly hired people that have had to sort of learn that when it comes to the back office administration, business uh, chores, uh, I think they're a little bit more cut and dry across organizations. You know, payroll is payroll. Uh, bookkeeping is bookkeeping. There's rules of the road, things that need to be done. And uh, one of our approaches now is to hopefully hire some more experience into our administrative team. Uh, so as to be able to free ourselves from some of those administrative chores. I have to be frank that I don't love the business administration side of running proof. Uh, I much prefer the creative business development side of engaging at some level of the operation, whether it be 
you know, in the front line creating new products that's really stimulating, whether it be strategically thinking about where the business is headed, uh, that's more of a, a higher level, broader uh, set of uh, discovery. But I enjoy all of that kind of creative development. Uh, yet, the business requires administration. So we're, we're actually in the process of hiring a new office manager and we're bringing a different set of eyes to that interviewing process. We're screening for more of a background in administration and hoping that that's a good move. I'd be curious to hear anybody's thoughts on how they have overcome the challenges of scaling whatever it is they do that is technical but then just becomes administrative you know at the at the organizational level uh, does your hiring strategy change as the nature of the roles that you have to offer uh, change and uh, in what way it'd be interesting to have that dialogue in this forum as I'm sure many of you come from all kinds of backgrounds in the meantime I'm excited to be able to do some testing today and so I'm going to take a look at that previous test that I was working on and get back to this 